Warriors got a great win over the Brooklyn Nets tonight by a final score of 110 to 106. And Andrew Wiggins in this game was incredible, leading the way for the Warriors. He shined, clearly showing why he's an All Star. And uh, yeah, he had 24 points in a really good game. Clay Thompson, you know, I just want to shed some light on him also. Really clutch shooting from him, obviously, too. Uh, hitting that three pointer late in the game and then sinking some free throws and uh, putting the Warriors in front. This was the Warriors' 50th game of the season, and they got their 37th win. For the Nets, of course, they are missing some key players, such as James Harden and um, Kevin Durant. So they had to have a lot of good production from Kyrie Irving, who had 32 points. Patty Mills also had 24 points. Um, but yeah, they came up short in the effort, and they did have a pretty good, you know, sort of comeback at the end there, being like down by five points. Um, and, uh, you know, kind of getting it back into the game. But luckily, Clay Thompson, with like 12 seconds left, sunk that three-pointer. Um, this was Stephen Curry's 808th regular season game as a Warrior, which surpassed uh, Chris Mullen for the all-time leader in regular season games played. So that was an interesting fact. But yeah, the Warriors hung on and got that great win. Um, and, uh, you know, it was, it was closer than I would have liked, but I'm going to take it because, you know, obviously the Nets without most of the key players are still a good team. They have a lot of depth. Um, and, um, you know, Clay Thompson has been a lot better than he was really towards the beginning of the season right now. I mean, he's just past couple of games showing that he's really easing into this new role and, you know, really fitting in as a really good role player and good shooter. Uh, Jordan Poole had 17 points off the bench. That was great to see. Curry had 19, 16 from Clay Thompson, 16 for Otto Porter Jr. had a great game. But of course, the star player was Andrew Wiggins, who was shooting great in, you know, in this game, 24 points. And um, yeah, for the Nets, like I said, really their main scoring came from Mills and Irving, uh, but James Johnson also had 14 points as well uh, in the victory. So yeah, 110, 106, very close game towards the end there, you know, really a nail biter. Um, and this is kind of like, we've, the Warriors have kind of passed the rough patch in their schedule. Luckily we have the Rockets next, then the Spurs, Kings and Thunder, which in my opinion is a pretty light schedule. So it's good to, you know, get the win against Brooklyn um, for sure. And uh, you know, after this game, the Warriors have been really good lately, of course winning most of their games. Uh, this was our uh, uh, fifth win in a row. So that's really good to see, you know, climbing up the ladder in the standings, trying to get back into that number one spot as of course, Phoenix is playing out of their minds right now. Uh, you know, really good basketball, but yeah, really good game for the Warriors. Um, and uh, I, I liked what I saw out there. Um, and uh, you know, the Warriors, this game was pretty like back and forth for most of the time. Um, there was a lot of double digit deficits that Brooklyn had to face and they overcame some of those deficits. Um, there was a 19 point warrior lead through the third quarter. And then finally, you know, the Nets just took over and they got the lead. Um, but the Warriors down the stretch realized that they had to play better. They made some really good shots. And, um, yeah, of course, Curry was, you know, pretty good as well in this, um, Looney was pretty good with rebounding and Curry passed the ball well as, as well. I mean, he had eight points. I mean, eight, uh, he had eight assists and 19 points, which was good to see. Um, eight assists, you know, is, is good for Curry, of course, because he's um, primarily known as a shooter, but he's, you know, getting the ball around, which is good as well. Um, and uh, also, Andrew Wiggins, his defense was amazing. Three blocks and three steals. I mean, on top of that 24-point performance, that was amazing to see. And, um, yeah. So yeah, now the Warriors are six and one on their homestand in the last two weeks. They're gonna hit the road for a two day, two Texas road trip. Um, of course, they'll play the Spurs um, and the Rockets. And so hopefully we can, you know, get some wins in there. Um, but yeah, it's been a pretty good homestand, you know, six and one, not bad at all. And really the only game we lost was barely losing to the Pacers. So really the Warriors have been back in the rhythm. Um, and I think definitely that's due to Klay Thompson being back in his role. If Kevin Durant and James Harden played tonight, I think it might've been a different outcome, but I'm not complaining with this win. Um, and so, yeah, I'm happy with it. Final score, 110 to 106, Warriors get the victory. Warriors move to 37 and 13, the Nets move to 29 and 20. So let me know your guys' thoughts. I'll see you guys later and uh, yeah, go Warriors.